collecting plastic waste on a beach near Mombasa. Some of the more than 430 million tons produced annually, two-thirds of which is used to make products that are soon thrown away. Much of this ends up polluting the ocean. But a local startup in Kenya is turning the plastic into something useful. In Mombasa alone, every day, over 80 tons of waste is uh, released. So out of this uh, 80 tons of waste, 20% is plastic. Uh, out of the 20% which is plastic, only 5% of the plastic waste is recycled. So we have this 95% which ends up in the beautiful ocean and ends up polluting uh, the marine life. So uh, what we are doing basically is that we are, we are intercepting uh, the process whereby the plastics come from the households and from the cities of Mombasa and ends up, ends up in the ocean. After collection, the plastic is shredded and washed, then mixed with tetra pack waste before being compressed under high heat to make boards. These are then used in this workshop to make school desks. So this plastic waste could have, would have ended up into the ocean affecting the marine life, but we are repurposing it to make something which is going to be useful uh, and is going to, uh, to, uh, to have a purpose in the community. So by making this school desk from plastic waste, we are able to not only uh, conserve the environment, but we, also, we are also able to promote sustainable education within Mombasa County. He says he was inspired by his own experience of sitting at a broken desk in primary school. And in this classroom in Mombasa, the young students are happy to receive their new eco-desks and chairs. When using traditional wooden desks, the students have to share between three, so it's cramped. However, when using these eco-desks, each student is comfortable. A recent report by the World Wide Fund for Nature found that low-income countries are impacted much more by plastic pollution than their wealthier counterparts despite lower consumption.